got our accent cut out. So now we got to change out the bit and go with our outer profile bit that's going to cut out the overall part. So I'll lay that there. I'll grab my wrench. I'll go ahead and use my page up command to raise the tool, to raise the uh, router. Hold it there. Now underneath here there's a button. What it does is it locks the, it locks the tool in place. And then I'll go ahead and I'll take it out. Again, it's thumb tight, so that's good. A little, a little more than thumb tight. Undo that. It's kind of a two-stage nut, so you have to do it twice. And then now it falls out. So I'll take this guy, put him in my pocket so I don't lose him. Take this uh, router bit, and I'm going to put it up to about this far into the router. So I'm going up into the router about that far, and then I'll start thumb tightening this up. Now that it's in there, I'm going to go ahead and tighten it. Two turns is, is plenty. That's good. Now, let's go ahead and reset the Z offset. So now we're an inch and almost seven eighths up. So what we're going to do is go ahead and lower it down to the table. So we're sitting right on that corner. That's good. Now we've got to reset the offset here. So we go to machine coordinates. We're resetting this offset to match where the tool location is now. So now that's zero comma zero. We go to offsets. We'll come down here, save offsets, select, and again we're using G54, the system control offset. Hit save, okay. And now we'll come over to run program. Well we gotta switch out the program. We gotta get the profile cut up now. So I'll close my G code and load my G code. And now I'm gonna get the Y profile cut out. Select that, open it, verify in this screen, there's my Y profile cut out. Now, if you want to, you can kind of rotate your screen around. You can kind of zoom up and you can see your tool pass. You can go back to display mode and reset your tool path. Zoom back out. There you go. And zoom in. And that actually shows that this out here shows the extents of the parameters of my mill. So my mill can go out to 48 inches. So here's my part setting on the screen. I'll zoom up on it, kind of pan over a little bit if I can. That's pretty good. We'll just leave it there. Okay. So we'll come over here and we'll first turn our router on. Here. We'll go ahead and cycle start. 